today is a very fun day. We have a client that came in and this is all about real hair behind the chair and she has very dark hair and it's layered with color and we got some virgin roots with a little bit of gray so we've got all the obstacles that you can possibly deal with on one head of hair in this case i'm going to start in the front where it's going to be lighter and brighter we are going in and doing baby lights to medium highlights that's the technique i'm using i am doing a diagonal parting around the face i'm going to continue my sectioning from the bottom up to the top in a diagonal manner if you notice i pre-sectioned the hair and did a diamond section on the crown and i left the lower panel at the nape of the neck squared off and so what I'm gonna do is the two front sections first in a diagonal sectioning. So now what we wanna do is we're talking about the technique is more baby light to medium stitch. That's one thing. If you have a client that wants hair to be lighter, more blonde than brown or more brown than blonde, this is what you need to ask in the client consultation. This is going into a corrective color. It will be more time more money. The consultation is key to clearly understanding what their expectations are of how they would like to see it as an end result connected with the expectations of what's realistic and what's really possible. So in this first section, we chose baby lights, I chose diagonal partings, and I chose thin sections in between because she wants to overall be blonder, more blonde than brown. You still will see a contrast due to the fact that she's already got very dark hair naturally. And we're looking at her hair naturally and we're also looking at the previous color that you have to keep into consideration of what you're doing and what's possible. I do not make any guarantees on how light and how bright I'm going to get this. And today we use flash lift. 30 volume, I'm gonna get it as light as possible. Whatever level we get it up to, that's what level I'm going to tone it at. As I went further up to the top, I did a TZ highlight. So I still did the medium to fine stitches, but I back combed right at the roots so that there is less of a demarcation through the crown area. Wrapping it up around the hairline, I love baby lights because when they pull their hair up, back down, whenever there's a little bit of movement, it's soft, it's more blended. As you get to the crown, I don't like things to look stripy and streaky. That's not my desirable end result for this particular color. So on the very top sectioning, you're gonna see some teasy highlighting. I call this a hybrid. I don't do the same thing over and over on the entire head. I do different things for different reasons in each section. I am thoroughly saturating the hair. I am using thinner sections because thinner sections, smaller pieces of hair, you're gonna get better saturation. The closer I get to the top is the TZ highlight. You notice I will just slightly lay the lightener on and get heavier with it towards the point of light, which is at the ends. I will thoroughly saturate it. So lightly brushing it up through the root area, thoroughly and heavily saturate it, almost like icing on a cake through the ends so that it will be an even end result. If you do too thick of a section, and you don't saturate enough, you will have an uneven result. So our goal is to make it as even as possible. In the front section area that you see here is to have a blurred line. I do not want a heavy demarcation.